Let me ask you something. How brave are you? Brave enough to endure the fiercest dance party of your life? Dance Off Clash On was a Nickelodeon Flash game made by Workin' Man for Nick.com. It featured characters from different shows in a beat-em-up style where you try to defend your dance party against attackers. Let's swing right into this and see what we're up against. At the menu, you're given a choice between three random characters, Gur from Invader Zim, Aang from Avatar, and Timmy from Fairly Odd Parents. If you know me, you know this isn't even a question. Of course I'm picking Gur. Now let's waltz on into this club. You start off dancing and trying to have a nice night, but then these party crashers from Invader Zim break in and try to put a stop to your fun. It takes two to tango, so you have to single-handedly kill them all while everyone else dances around you. As you fight through the enemies, more start to come in and you move into different rounds. With every new swarm, they get harder to fend off. The three characters have their differences, and they each control in their own style. Aang is a more hands-on fighter who will smack his enemies to death from up close. Timmy throws stars and Gur throws cupcakes. Or are they muffins? Gur is a little faster than Timmy, so Timmy gets the prize for being the weakest fighter. That's an F. When you defeat an enemy, they drop orbs to fill your party meter when you collect them. Once your party meter is full, you can dance to perform a powerful attack on your enemies. Is Gur doing... the robot? Now just look at all the Nicktoons characters dancing the night away while you're fighting for your life. Look at Danny's little pathetic dance here. He looks so determined to swing his arms back and forth like that. Zim's just laughing over here. He doesn't even care about helping his partner to fight. And SpongeBob's just expanding over here. And there's that one reused Patrick model that reminds us that we are indeed playing a working man game. Also, artifacts from every show appear as you progress through the stages. Along with those, the enemies you fight vary from show to show. They might seem like a cakewalk at first, but you'll have to hustle with the later ones. The firebenders from Avatar take more hits to go down than the Zim enemies, but we've only just scratched the surface. When you boogie on a little farther, Mark Chang from the Fairly Odd Parents comes in to step things up. But the real opponents that'll shake the game are the anti fairies and the ghosts. The anti fairies throw stars at you and can really mess you up when you're focused on other enemies. But these ghosts, you better prepare yourself for these. They shoot these hooks at you, they're really fast, and they take a trillion hits to go down. Yeah, I counted. Exactly one trillion. What, you don't believe me? But once they go down, their orbs add 500 points to your score. But just look at this mess of a level. How am I supposed to deal with all this? You better pony up those orbs and use your dance moves to fight back. Even so, they aren't instant kills, so you can't fully depend on them. If only this gigantic cow would come into the field and help out. Otis, your laser shooting udders would very much come in handy right about now. You too, Jenny. But I guess you're busy doing... Whatever that is. This is like a security guard simulator. You do all the work keeping the bad guys out while everyone else is enjoying themselves. Such a thankless job, but someone's gotta do it. Another thing I really like about this is that when you die, you can actually continue right where you left off, even if you switch your character. The first round will always be the Zim enemies, but then you'll get back to where you were. This is a really good feature that I honestly didn't expect the developers to consider. Thanks, working man. But now that we've gone through all that jazz, there's one other thing we can do to twist things up. Many people don't actually know this, but there's a really cool secret you can uncover by holding the mouse on Gur at the character select screen. His icon will start to shine and you'll unlock an avatar version of him, with Timmy as his icon. I guess they wanted to squeeze all three of them in somehow. Now this is just awesome, an official game where Gur is an avatar. Never thought I'd see the day. How can you not love a game that lets you play as an avatar version of Gur? This is a masterpiece, that's my conclusion. But in all seriousness, this is really good. You might enjoy seeing how far you can make it when the enemies start getting harder. It's nice to see all the characters from different shows that made it in, and you can have a good time breakdancing with all the people who want to kill you. I really enjoyed this. It's to the point, but really good. Thank you for joining me, I will see you in the next memory.